What's up guys? It has been forever, hasn't it? I am sorry. A lot of things have been going on since my last vlog-like video, and yeah, so I'm sorry. I'll explain in the future some of the stuff that happened, uh, but I'm here. I'm here now, and it, isn't that what's important? But in any case, let's, uh, let's move on from that right now. Let's talk about a topic that is very near and dear to my heart, and I think is very serious, actually. Guys, Let's talk about mental health. Recently, I came across a YouTuber by the name of Happy Lee Aaron. While I was browsing through her videos, I saw a video titled, My Struggle with Bipolar Disorder. You don't see how many times it took me to say disorder properly, so just moving on. By the way, guys, this is a serious video, but I'm, I'm gonna throw some funny in here, okay? It's me. I, I, I have to. I'm sorry, but I have to. I watched this video and it was heart-wrenching. Like, really, it was. She talks about how she was diagnosed with bipolar and how it affected her in life uh, to up to that point in that video. It was... wow. I watched that video and the whole time I just wanted to go through the screen and give her a hug. That's not a joke. I really felt what she was feeling. And by the end of watching her video, I was really inspired to make this video, actually. Because Aaron was incredibly strong in her video and got a great message across and, and has inspired me, I am going to make this video. I want to talk to you guys about my experiences with mental health and how it's affected me and all that lovely stuff. To be fair though, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to share everything. Uh, there's a lot to this story and I'm not quite ready to open up like that right now, but uh, I'm still going to open up, so you never know what's going to happen when on camera. If I get teary-eyed, don't you dare judge me. So what is my experience with mental health? Well, I'm diagnosed with major depressive disorder and two different anxiety disorders. And if that wasn't enough, I also have ADD and a few other things thrown in there. It's, it's, it's fun. I've had these depression and anxiety issues for a very long time, and uh, I think it all started when I was about 16 years old, some, somewhere around that time frame. I remember being in high school and just really struggling with it, um, and, it got, and it got pretty bad at some points, but, um, but I'm here now, and that's, that's what's important. I'm here now. And I'd also like to make a quick note that even sharing that right now to, to you guys on the internet and on YouTube, that's a scary thing. And quite frankly, that really shouldn't be the case. I feel like mental health is one of those things where people don't know how to approach it and because of that lack of knowledge, just shit goes all over the place. It's all over the floor, all over the ceiling, all over everything. When I'm talking to someone about mental health and they don't fully understand it, they usually fall into one of two categories. Category one, the suck it up, it's not a real thing and just fucking get over it group. Or the second group, the I'm gonna treat you differently and judge you because of this thing you have group. Neither one of these is okay. Like I said, this is just a very broad thing right now, but I'm just but typically it falls into one of those two groups. There's always an exception, but you, you get what I'm saying. So let me talk about each of these groups and why it really bothers me that this is the case. When I'm telling someone who doesn't really understand mental health about my issues with it, and they immediately say, you know, suck it up or get over it or just stop being lazy, it's really hard to hear because it is not that easy. There's a comic I actually saw recently online that really illustrated this very, very well in my opinion. This comic showed a boy who has depression and he's being talked to by someone who you don't see in the actual comic. You just see what that person is saying. And the person you don't see is talking to the depressed kid and he's, you know, he's saying, you know, get up, do something, it's important. And this, this boy just won't move. He just he just says no. After a while, the person who's talking to this depressed kid says, why don't you get up? What, what is the reason behind this? And this kid responds with, I hate myself too much. The person who's talking to this kid immediately dismisses this and says, oh, that's ridiculous. But it's the kid's response to that that really says something. The kid responds with, I know. I think there's a common misconception that people don't understand that the thoughts that are coming into their heads are not real and they're not true and they're not accurate and 
it, it's a lot of BS, it's a lot of horse shit. I can tell you from personal experience, I know it's not true. But just because those thoughts aren't true, doesn't mean the feelings that they're causing aren't real. Those thoughts are very real and very impactful actually. And for whatever reason, how the mind works, we can't just dismiss them like everyone tells us to. And because of this, these thoughts impact us in a very real way. How so? We don't move. We know we should move, and we know we need to move, but, but those thoughts are so there and so real, we can't. The thoughts literally just hold us back. They don't let us move. I know this is probably really hard for people who don't have mental health issues or depression or whatever to, to really understand. I know it sounds ridiculous, but it's very true and it's very real. And we know it's a bunch of poop. I mean, we didn't ask for this. We didn't ask to be paralyzed by inaccurate thoughts. The same way people who have diabetes or, you know, cancer or any other form of illness, we don't ask for that. And they don't ask for that. We, we, we don't want this. It just is the way it is. And it's poop. Starting to notice a pattern with poop jokes in this video. But in any case, let's move on to that second group I mentioned earlier. The group who decide that people with mental illness should be treated differently from everyone else as if we are incapable human beings. What was the word for that again? Alright, look, I know I just spent a ton of time in this video explaining that mental illness is a very real thing and people should be more aware of it, and they absolutely should. What people shouldn't do is make judgments on people just because they've been diagnosed with a mental illness. I mean, seriously, some of my best friends who just poop out talent, there we go again with poop, they are so creative and so goddamn talented and just, just so amazing in general, they have these issues as well. I mean, we're still human beings, guys. We, we, we just got a thing, that's all. In my personal experience, if anyone gets to the point where they get paralyzed and it starts to affect their regular responsibilities, that's not because I'm having a bad day. It's typically from ignoring it for a really long time, usually for the sake of other people. Guys, we're not weak. We've just been strong with no break for too long. Anyways, let's wrap this video up, cause reasons. This video may be kind of all over the place, and I'm I'm sorry about that. But th there's a lot I want to say, and I I just don't know how to say it all, and I don't know what things to say. It's it's really confusing like that. But I really wanted to make this video, cause I think it's really important. When I was jotting down ideas, I ultimately started realizing there was a lot I wanted to say and I had to ask myself what is my goal for making this video what what do I want this video to do and ultimately I think I want to do two things number one I hope that this video helps people who don't have mental illness see that it is a very real thing and it is very very serious and reason number two I hope people who do see this video who do have mental illness realize it's okay. Really guys, you, you can get help and that's totally okay. Mental illness is not something that you can just make disappear with a pill or just a couple doctor's visits. It's a lifelong journey. I mean, to be honest, that's something I'm coming to terms with right now. But you know what? That, that journey doesn't have to be a bad journey. There are a lot of people out there who want to help and there's a lot of places to get help and it's totally okay to get help. If anyone ever tells you that this is not a real thing or it's not a serious thing, they're wrong. Straight up. No question. Don't ever let yourself think that because you have this thing that you didn't ask for, that you're somehow weak or helpless or you're not going to be able to do anything. Because that's just not true. And I think if people just start realizing that this is a real thing that is legitimate and, and very serious, Maybe we can get one step closer to making this whole process a little easier. Mental health is a thing, guys. It's real. It sucks. But it's okay. Remember that. And scene with the deep shit. Okay, again with the poop jokes. Again, I want to give another shout out to Happy Lee Aaron. She is just so awesome. Her video really helped me a lot. And 
I hope this video helps someone else out there. Like that video did for me. Also, she does anime reviews and manga stuff and does the manga podcast. It's it's a fun time. Just check her out. She's awesome and stuff. She, mm -hmm. If you guys look in the description below, you're going to see a lot of links to things that really helped me put together this video. Uh, some resources to help anyone out who maybe needs help. And yeah, that that's about it. So this video is up in May of 2014. May is Mental Health Awareness Month, so it's late, but let's get that awareness out there. We can do this, guys. Thanks for watching, and uh, take it easy.